I'm at the house at 12102 Hamlin Creek in the Laura Heights subdivision. Can give you 360 of the neighborhood here. This subdivision is off of 1604 and Shanefield becomes GOM Road. So you close to Lackland Air Force Base, 151. Uh, UTSA and USAA. As you can see here, this road ends in a dead end, dead end cul de sac. Uh, there is no driveway across from the house, so essentially, you have this uh, dead end all to yourself. Not, not going to be any traffic coming through here. This subdivision has a community pool, playground, and barbecue picnic area, gated community. Uh, the house itself is on a uh, one-fifth of an acre lot. Going to take a look inside. The house was uh, first purchased brand new in November of 2012. That's a nice landscape in front here. This is a four-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath. Square footage is roughly 2,513 square feet. And take a look inside. Nice neutral colors throughout. Uh, the floor plan is layout. The to the right is the office. Further back is the living room, and all the way in the back is the kitchen eat-in area. We have one master bath uh, bedroom to the right in the back, and also upstairs are the rest of the bedrooms. So let's start here in the front. We have an office. Um, could also be potentially a formal dining if you'd like, but this is uh, looks like set up as an office. Um, again, this house has been lived in for less than a year, so it is in very good condition. Carpets are all very nice. Um, so we got the office there. To the left, we have a two-car garage. Nothing uh, out of the ordinary there. We do have a garage door opener. Here we have the half bath, the commode and pedestal sink. Next to that we have the utility room. It's a good size uh, room here. Washer dryers, hookups, shelving, and then you got some extra space here. Here we have very nice, uh, we got nine foot ceilings throughout the house, but here we have about 18 foot ceilings, which is really nice. Really open feel, a lot of natural light coming in. So you got a very large game uh, living room area here. Getting very nice and open. Let's go to the right here. We're going to have the master's bedroom off to the right. So we got a master's down, which is great. Uh, if you don't like to deal with stairs or if you have guests or relatives that are not good with stairs, this is a perfect setup. Get your master's good size bedroom here. You can definitely fit in a king size bed instead of room for nightstands and a dresser. Off to the side here we have the master bathroom, full bath, dual sinks, nice dark cabinets. We have the garden tub and also a separate uh, shower, step in shower. So again, for people who don't like to uh, you know, don't have to climb over the uh, edge of the um, bathtub. They can just step into the shower very easily. Here we have a commode. And then here we have a very good size walk-in closet, about uh, eight feet by about five feet, at least that, maybe a little bit wider, uh, longer than that. Let me just show you as we go inside here how deep this is. You can see, yeah, I'd say definitely, 10, at least 10 to 12 feet deep. All right, let's go look at the rest of the house. I'm gonna head over to the kitchen now. And just kind of pause here to see that, how nice that looks. Very open feeling. Here in the uh, 
front of the kitchen we have a granite countertop so we have here a breakfast bar as you see the stools are set up which you can use that as an additional eating space lots of cabinets and lots of counter space you can see here here is your eating area so you put your table here very open you got a kitchen island we got the uh, gas stove, gas cooking, which is great for people who like to do a lot of cooking. I understand gas is uh, easier to work with than electric. You got nice deep stainless steel sinks. And then you have your built-in microwave. And also your dishwasher. The fridge is not included, but you can see there's a space here for a good sized fridge. Got the nice uh, recessed lighting. Nice, nice solid granite countertops. There is the uh, pantries, some shelving, and then we're going to go out to the backyard. Again, this is an oversized lot, about a fifth of an acre. Got a nice deck here. And the view here is more of a country view. This is not developed behind uh, on, the, on the left side of the house. And you will occasionally see cows and horses uh, in that area in the field, especially down, all the way down the line. So sometimes they'll be in this area also. So nice, quiet uh, country feel out here. I'm gonna show you some of the uh, yard walk down here a little bit so I can show you how big the yard is as you can see it goes quite a way, quite a ways down of course the front yard is also quite large you got that front uh, side yard where that dead end is and great for uh, kids to play without having to worry about traffic going by. We can see that side yard from here. So you can see some of the side yard from the front. All right, let's head back inside. Okay, so we're gonna head upstairs. It's a beautiful layout. It's 2,500 square feet, but it feels like it's four or 500 square feet larger just because you have those high ceilings and open floor plan. We'll go upstairs. We have blinds in the majority of the windows here, just so, not on the top so we can let some natural light in, but all the bedrooms have uh, window blinds. Okay, top of the stairs, we have three bedrooms up here plus a game room and a hall bath. Let's start with bedroom number two here. This is probably one of the smaller of the bedrooms, but still a good size. Again, you get the blinds and then you have the closet there. Here's your game room, about 14 or 15 feet by about 16 to 18 feet, depending on the uh, the portion here. Some part is in uh, is deeper than the other parts, but uh, overall, very large size game room. And also on the floors, you got these face plates, so you can let me show you the other one face plates, so you can do, uh, attach your electrical equipment here without running cords all the way across the floor, which is really good. Okay, this would be bedroom number three here. This actually is a good sized bedroom, even bigger than what it looks like. The measurements is uh, 10 or 11 feet by about 14 feet. So it is a very uh, good sized bedroom. Here we have a lot of uh, big pieces of furniture, but you still got a lot of walking room here. And then we head to the hall bath. Again, this house is under a year old, so it's in very good condition. You got your sink, commode, 
and behind the shower curtain there you have your uh, standard tub and shower combination and then we head to bedroom number four now this is the biggest of the upstairs bedrooms in very nice carpet is in excellent shape and the carpet will be professionally cleaned prior to move in so it's going to look even better than it already does and then we have another closet space there so again this is a four bedroom two and a half bath in a gated community on a nice dead end cul-de-sac on an extremely large lot if you'd like more information about this home or would like to schedule a showing my name is Mark Fee my cell number is 210-618-9161 or you can call the office at Liberty Management at 210-681-8080. Thank you.